Hey, you awesome people. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Um, okay, it is 3.30 p.m. I've been at it since morning. I'm so tired. I'm still not done packing. Okay, the thing is I'm going for a holiday tomorrow. I'm really excited. It's going to be like a little girl's trip. Um, I'm not done packing, uh, but I really want to squeeze this in because I recently picked up some stuff from Sephora. Mac and my orders from Cop Beauty arrived so I just want to share this stuff with you guys okay sorry for the background it's really like a quick one so I didn't have time to set up properly messy messy sorry okay let's jump right in um I think Sephora first uh because I only picked up three things I think from Sephora the first one this one so this is a retinol that i used before is the a passioni retinol cream It's a retinol cream it's a serum um this was actually my second my first retinol oh no third my first retinol or retinol or whatever retinoic uh, family serum oil that i used was the sunday riley luna and then I tried the the Adaplin cream um, and then I moved to this one and I currently am on uh, what do you call that um, is uh, the blue one from let me get it currently on this A plus Sunday Riley High dose retinoid serum. Um, it's almost over. I think you guys can see that. So this was actually my second bottle. I really love this one. Since I don't know what to move to next because that was my second bottle. Um, I'm going back to this because I know I've used it before and I love it. So I picked up a fresh new bottle of this. Um, I'm going to be bringing it along with me. What else did I pick up at Sephora? I thought I did pick up something else. Hmm, what else? A few moments later. So, the second thing I bought uh, from Sephora is this one. It's the Makeup Forever HD Skin Herrera Foundation. I picked up the shade 2Y32, 2Y32. I love this one guys, I really love it. Uh, it's really good especially for filming. It's heavy for office, um, but I've used it before for office once. But I would not do this for office. I would use this mainly for the weekend, I would. Um, yeah, but for office, I think it's pretty heavy. Um, I prefer my Chanel, the beige, water, tin, thingamajig, I don't remember the name, or like a really, uh, like more natural stuff, right? Like tinted moisturizer or something like that. Um, but this one is really good. I love this one. The shade is a tad bit darker for me. Um, I would have liked it um, if it's slightly lighter. I think um, it also oxidizes a bit. Um, I have this on right now actually. If you can see, the lighting is not so good. Uh, but this time I put like a really stretch it so that it's not too the bar. So, but I really love this one. Uh, the third thing I picked up is, sorry, the balik. This one, this is my favorite, favorite, favorite scent. Um, I have two favorites. One is a Chanel Mademoiselle perfume, EDB. Then this one is my next favorite because my current one is like that much left so i picked up a new, a new bottle i really 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 love this one it smells super good but super expensive i think for like 30 ml it was nearly 500 i think 
don't remember exactly. I think it was four plus plus plus. And then because I got tons of um apa nama dia points, I got this. Um I think it was it only cost me like 250 points, which I think is pretty good deal. Um it is the Brio Gel Scalp Revival uh, Shampoo and then the Don't Respair, Despair Repair Conditioner Mask. Um, because, like I said, I'm traveling, right? So I thought it'd be really nice to have this. I'll see if they're really good. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, let's go to MAC. Because actually, because um, <laughs> I was in Sunmi Pyramid, that is not my turf. Um, but I had to go there because I sent my um, car to the workshop and it was near Sunmi Pyramid. So I was in the area. So I made a stop to cut Sunmi Pyramid. And you know, if you know Sunmi Pyramid, that's Sephora, that's MAC, and that's a bunch of beauty stuff like in a row, right? So. <sighs> I got distracted. So I went to Mac. I actually, I can't remember the last time I shopped Mac because, um, yeah, I I'd rather shop Sephora because then you can collect points. So I really don't remember the last time I shopped Mac, right? But I've been watching some videos and a lot of beauty influencers are talking about this mascara, the Mac Stack mascara. So I wanted to give it a try in stores and then they, they didn't have like the full size so I didn't try I, Actually I tried it but they only had the trial the, because they have two brushes, two kinds of brushes for Max Tech The micro brush and the macro brush, like small and big uh, So I wanted to try the macro one, the bigger one I somehow like uh, bigger brushes on my mascara and I also only use waterproof mascara, not because it's waterproof so that it doesn't run all over my face, but because I find that only waterproof mascara can hold my curl because my eyelashes are really straight, right? So I prefer waterproof mascara. So I wanted to go in and try that and then buy it, but because since they don't have the macro one, I tried the micro brush, the smaller one, and I didn't like it. Uh, but also I was trying it on top of my already uh, mascara eyelashes so I already had mascara on so I don't know maybe that was the reason why but it wasn't for me I didn't like it and then the SA bless her she asked me to uh, try this one this is the extreme dimension waterproof lash I love this Okay, I only really love uh, three mascaras uh, so far. I've tried a few, but I've only stuck with three which I constantly repurchase. One is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. That one is drugstore. I really want to try the Maybelline... What do you do? Like... Maybelline... I don't know, the one that got really famous on TikTok. Um, uh, something High Sky or whatever. Uh, okay, but I use L'Oreal... Lash Paradise, Paradise Lash, Lash Paradise Mascara, whatever, waterproof version, and then I use um, Lancome Doll Eyes Mascara. I love that one too. And then now I'm loving this one. This is the Mac Extreme Dimension Waterproof Mascara. I've tried the Huda Beauty. I've tried Fenty. I've tried um, I've never tried Ilya. I've tried um, the Stila ones. I've tried many 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 brands dior even but yeah those three now are my favorites and then when i got to the counter as usual there were some shaitans there right um i got this one i was actually wanting to see the the mac uh glow play blush the the cream blushes right they came up with some limited editions um, colors for what do you call it? Cherry Blossom collection. So I wanted one of the colors, but that um, they ran out of that color that I wanted. So I was uh, I was swatching the two colors that they had, 
because the whole collection was on 30% off Shaitan so but I didn't really like the two colors that they had so I skipped on those um, and the SA showed me this and the rest is history this color uh, I think I have a clip where I tried this on as well um, on me it looks really because I'm quite dark skinned so on me it really it, on my lips it's a bit cool toned um, it's really pink and it's cool toned like it's somehow a bit like blue based pink on me and that is I love that kind of look uh, I love it but formula wise this is the powder kiss liquid lip color uh, liquid lip formula it's all right it's not the best it's liquid lip nars do it really well um the power mat i think that's what i call it the liquid lip power mat uh thing magic love those love food wd uh liquid lip yeah those are my two favorites in terms of lip quick lip colors but this color is pretty nice and the essay was also obviously you can use your cream anywhere right so i was thinking if, even if i don't like it on my lip i can always use it as a blusher i thought so yeah whoa okay let's try that huh better Okay, uh, those were the two things from MAC. Okay, cult beauty. I spent, I don't know, maybe I should really go back to cult beauty um, account page and just really counted how much I spent there, right? It's really close. But they have the nicest, most um, exciting stuff that are not here so i love spending on cult beauty so this time around i went a little bit crazy let's do skincare first um i replenished this thing here i only use this um i mean i've been using this for a while now and it's my favorite cleanser it it only makes sense that i buy a big bottle because i go through them pretty quickly and it's the best is a fresh soy face cleanser um yes this one is love and then i picked up i've been having crazy hormonal um hormonal apa nama dia acne um here especially there there here uh, is annoying so this i remember i had it before and then you know with everything it always expires so i picked up a new one lactic acid 10 percent um from the ordinary um for those stuff i think for me it's better uh, to use lactic acid rather than what's the other one salicy yeah salicylic acid right is the other one so I prefer to use lactic or lactic acid on acne yang jenis dalam. You know, it's not the one yang timbul tu. It's the one that is underneath your skin. So I use this. I also use a Paula's Choice one. And I think, I'm, oh, the, the Sunday Riley serum. The lactic serum, I think. Oh, and the Ren skincare the orange one too i think that's glycolic uh and also ordinary glycolic my favorite acids because this one mura and i really love it it's mura but it's really effective and then i picked up two concealers i am in the hunt to look for new concealers um because my I apa nama dia ni? Uh, under eye <laughs> are really dark and they're getting worse. So obviously, of course, 
apart from concealer, apa nama dia, the correctors are also important. But I really wanted concealers. Okay, they are dark, but they also dry, so that makes it really hard to cover without making it look worse, right? And also have an apa nama dia um, lines underneath the eye, normal. So I've been trying to find concealers that would cover, <laughs> that would address all of those issues. Tall order, I know, but I just wanna you know buy stuff, see if they work. This one is the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer. I've not tried this one yet in the color Neutral Buff. Um, I'll report back if it's any good. If it's good, then you'll see me use it in my clips or in my talks. I mean, in my series, in my channel, in my on my Instagram. You'll see it if it's good. This one I tried. I have it on today. I've heard about this one for so long. My favorite makeup artist here on YouTube, her name is uh, Andrea Ali. Andrea Ali. Um, she usually whatever she recommends, I would like. So she's recommended this for so long, but I never picked it up because I never knew what color to get because it's really hard to get um, to 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 find recommendation on uh, YouTube because it's not really a famous kind of because it's all it's not new. So I ended up picking up Dolce de Leche, um, and the color I think is pretty nice. And the formula is pretty, it's a dry formula, but I don't think it's drying. I'll see it throughout the day if it does dry. But I think I made a mistake. I think I shouldn't have said it, but today I did set it um, with powder. I have a feeling I shouldn't have said it, then it would have looked better. Um, yeah, but I, first impression, I like it. And the color is okay on me, I think. Um, yes. Kind of love. You'll see a clip where I tried this on. Um, I think she's gonna be good for me. I really want to try that Huda Beauty full filter concealer. I've seen tons of, I mean not tons, I've seen a couple of reviews online and they're looking really good. Again, I don't know what color to get and so far I didn't have any in stores. They have it online but I didn't want to risk it so, so yeah, I haven't picked it up but I really want to try that one. Next, next, that would be my next concealer chase. And then, guys, I picked up not one, not two, but three Honest Beauty blushes. These are cream blushes. I love this. I've tried the formula, so I know I love this formula. That's why I picked up three. Two are actually, no, 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 one actually are to Ganti, my older one, because I think that one expired already. <sighs> Everything expired during MCO, right? Because we haven't been using our makeup, so they just sit there and they expired on us. Bagus betul. Oh, they did a new packaging on this stuff. Look, cute. Okay. And it says cream, shake, and lip color. So I guess you can use that on your lips too. Rose pink is my favorite neutral everyday office color. So that's why I had to pick up a new one. This is bomb, guys. Bomb. I love it so much. I hope they didn't change the formula. I think they did. I think they did. Oh man. We'll see. Apa benda I swatch ni? But can you see that color? It's like too natural. It does seem like it's a bit more tacky, like a bit more emollient. Um, let me check real quick my old one. 
rose pink. Yep. Rose pink. Can you see how? No need lah to show, okay? But it's so dirty. Maybe it is the same. I just wanted to see. It smells a bit foul, also. So I think definitely aspired. It is different. The color is really different. Oh man. What a bummer. But I hope I like it. We'll see. We'll see. Wait. Swatch party, guys. And then let me pull the other two colors. So that was rose pink. This is peony pink. Peony pink. Peony pink. Packaging improved by a whole lot. Love it. Um, I don't know what. Ooh, this is a lot more cool toned. This one is peony pink. This one was the old rose pink. This one is a new rose pink. Interesting. <laughs> I love cream blushes. I have so many. <laughs> uh, it's not funny. Why am I laughing? I'm not being careful at all with these boxes. I'm just ripping them apart. I do keep boxes if I think I'm going to be selling my stuff. Like if I try it and I don't like it, sometimes I do sell uh, them on carousel or something. But I don't think I will be letting, letting this ones go. So, oh, this one already like much, um, what do you call that? Like, um, book below like that. Oh, I don't know what to do with this color. Hmm, interesting. This is, you know, this one is the plumberry. Uh, maybe I can do use it like more up here. Interesting. I don't have anything like that, so I don't regret picking that up. It's just a tad bit too deep. I thought it'd be more. Uh, it'd be lighter. I thought it'd be lighter, but that's okay. Uh, so those. <laughs> Well, three blushes I picked up from Honest Beauty. This one is the Patrick Ta, uh, whatever the duo double take cream uh, powder blush, uh, double take cream and powder blush in the shade She's Baked. Guys, I, ha I already have two um, shades in this, so I know I like the formula. I just want it to pick up like a um, new color. Pristine, guys. They're like pristine. Love it. Should I put more on my face? I think I should. I think I should put some. I, I can only do the powder. me happy. I love it. I think this is such a good Did you see that? Santiga? Such a good everyday color for office. Love it. Good pick. Um of course he has like a few colors, a few new colors, I mean. She, he came out with like four in the beginning. I picked up two. I have two of those because I didn't really want the light pink ones. And the other one is very good, I think. But this one is kind of love. 
Let's see how the cream one looks. I'm just gonna swatch it. <laughs> Yummy. Divine! I feel like I'm gonna really like it. Uh, how do we... <laughs> oh my goodness! Can you see this? Yes, you can. So, so nice. I think this one I'm gonna really love. Oh, so good. Okay, I think. Do you like it? Oh, the other thing I picked up was I already opened it. Uh, also from Cult, this thing right here um, is what I use for SPF now. This is um, Dennis Gross um, All Physical Lightweight Wrinkle Defense. It's only SPF 30, but I wanted this because it's physical sunscreen because. I notice that I always have like these tiny little bumps um, coming out on my skin, right? Apparently, a lot of people say it's because of your sunscreen, chemical sunscreen especially. So I wanted to switch to physical sunscreen. Uh, but the thing is, I've tried a few before this. One is super expensive. It's called um, Alta MD. And I usually pick that up on iHerb um, and then they're really expensive, they're like 200 the one that I use um, um, is like 200 odd and and rarely, do I get it on iHerb or strawberry, strawberry Net? That one I think on Strawberry Net and it's really hard that they have, it's really rare that they would have discounts on that site so it's expensive. So I'm trying to find an alternative. The other physical one that I like is... There's another one. Oh, um, not that I like. I hated it, but I finished it. It's the Neod one. I turned blue in the one. Like really, it's not even white cast. It's like blue cast. It's ridiculous. This one, I turn gray a little bit it's not white um i guess it's white so then that's why i look gray a little right but if i put makeup on then it will just go away but it is a little bit drying usually when it's physical sunscreen then it's a bit drying but i just put like my oil underneath this then i'm okay um so a bit more fun like, in terms of application uh Yes, if I have wear makeup then it's fine, but if I don't want to wear makeup then I use my La Roche Posay or my Super Goop and Sin sunscreen. But this in terms of physical sunscreen is love because I noticed because I've tried to not use uh, chemical sunscreen or, at all this couple of weeks and I noticed really memang tak ada this small small bumps on my face anymore. So I'm pretty sure that small small bumps too is because of the sunscreen. So, uh, I only use chemical sunscreen if I really have to. If I don't want to be wearing makeup, I'll wear those stuff. Um, uh, lah. So, those are the things I recently picked up. I mean, beauty things that I recently picked up. We don't have to talk about fashion lah. Because Zara just went on sale. I, I actually only picked up two things from Zara online. Again, because I'm traveling, right? So I don't want to be spending too much. Because um, I thought I will be spending um, when I travel. Uh, so I didn't really pick up anything from Zara this year around, this time around. But having said that, the last items I picked up from the last sale, which means that was last year, December, they, had, they still have tags on them. So that's why I thought like maybe I should like but then now, calm down and not spend so much. Um, but cause <laughs> I picked up something from cause, but we don't have to tell anyone, okay? Okay, 
so i guess that's all thank you so much for watching thank you so much for listening um i'll see you next time bye